Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my Monster Spotlight. Today is something a little bit special. Uh, we're doing a double Monster Spotlight because, you know, it's two of the same monsters. I actually wanted to test this out. Now, wh what I'm trying to do here is, um, we have we ha happen to have two Light Nightmares. And Light Nightmare, I think, is probably the, like, she she's a very, very unique monster. She has aggression on first skill and sap on second skill, um, which makes her really, really good for, for running Golden Speed 10 because she's able to solo tank the stage as well as provide sap for the boss. And um, unfortunately, we don't have her on Siphon Gems. If, if we did, um, I think she would be even better because, you know, how aggression works, if... She, the, the more damage or the more damage you deal in percent to the enemy, um, the more SP that you gain back. So aggression, if you just gem her full defense, she will first of all be able to, you know, fully tank the wave. And second of all, she would be able to use utilize her aggression to fill up her bar and use her AoE sap more. So I think that's actually really, really nice. So um this is this is Brian and this is Insect. We have we have two light nightmares here. They're pretty much gemmed the same way. It's just triple defense. Um, I think he mostly went with some crit rate. Actually, this one's mostly resist. Um, basically, a mix of crit rate and resist. And then this one is, um, I think, mostly crit rate. That was 20% crit rate, 9% resist. And I guess attack is somewhat useful because her second skill is an aggression skill, so it actually does scale with attack. So um, some attack substats actually might help this monster a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um, I'm gonna put in my fire gin and we're gonna go with uh, two sappers. My fire gin is on siphon. He's gonna be the one filling up bars, um, helping everybody get their their bars faster. I'm gonna go with uh, my water miho. I regemmed her. Um, she's currently on a ruin set with uh, crit rate double attack. The yeah, the, the attack gems are really really shitty. They're just really old attack gems that I've been using for a long time. Um, and you know, I've, when I first started the game, when I first uh, first got to B10 and got some ruin gems, I I upgraded those to plus 15, even if they had no crit rate substats. So they were just really really shitty ruin gems. Um, I'm gonna go with my fire purse now. I had to unfortunately I had to regen my fire purse um, She was she actually had a perfect set of crit rate Crit damage attack, but I, I regen her with triple attack. She no longer has a hundred percent crit rate But um, at least all three of these attack gems have a little bit of crit rate on them So that's that's actually pretty nice since I have the the gen for the leader skill. I'm gonna put in one of the nightmares We're gonna go with um, I'll, I'll go with insects first. We'll, we'll go with this one and then we'll We'll see how fast this run can be, and um, just just for the sake of like trying to get the faster run, I'm gonna actually target the boss afterwards, um, just so just to just to make it so like you know if we had good RNG, what would happen or something like that. So we're gonna go in and hopefully this uh this fun this run will be like insanely fast. Um, it might. I'm not too sure. I have three sappers um, sapping the boss, so we we might be able to get some fast runs. Unfortunately, I don't have a full crit rate siphon gem on my Jin, or else I would put him on. Uh, oh my god, he didn't even get a full bar. That's really sad. Um, or else I would put him like not as the leader and put an actual attack lead. This way, he has enough attack to actually one shot the wave. So as you can see, he wasted two attacks. Um, the light nightmare is solo tanking somewhat well. It's just mostly the first wave. The first wave have there's a lot of problem with the first wave. Um, because, yeah, I'm, I'm missing, like, a little bit of damage. If I had that little bit of damage, I would be able to, to completely kill him. If I, if I had an attack lead, but then, then again, I don't really have an attack lead. Any, um, that can, that can fit. Unless there's a sapper that I could use that has a attack lead. I think it should still, this should still be pretty fast. As long as they land a lot of saps on this boss. Now the trick is um, the why the, the reason why sappers are really good is um, if if you can land multiple saps before the the boss is under like thirty percent, then you can you can possibly kill him before he gets one of his like AOE animations off. This one. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate that he got this off. Man, he is resisting like mad. Well, 
Well, at least we got him. I think that should be around a minute 30 or so. Oh, a minute 50. That was... Uh... Hmm... Well, we have one more try. We have we have just one more try um, with the other with the other nightmare. I think hopefully hopefully we get some better RNG. Um, this is purely theoretical, by the way. I just want to I really just wanted to test this out and see if we we could uh, get a really really fast run. But I think I think my my Jin isn't able to do the job properly. Like he doesn't actually have enough damage by himself. Um, I think either I need to switch it up, use a different monster, like maybe a Dark Mona with Siphon and 100% crit, or I need something stronger like, I don't know, Dark uh, Persephone perhaps <laughs> for the wave clear. Or maybe if I can just get like, uh, you know, multiple fire purse on Evil 3, I don't have to worry too much about, um, about the... The uh, them not not getting like you know their their bar full in one turn because if they're all on siphon, then on the second or third turn after they nuke, um, everybody should have a full bar and just constantly be nuking the boss. All right, we have a four man full AOE. See if we can land some saps. I was pretty lucky. That's like three saps. Come on, just land like two. Oh shit! Ah, oh, if it landed one more, it would have killed this boss before he got this animation off, and we might have been able to kill him. You know what I need? I need to take him out, and I need to put in a. I need I need a variant Persephone, and then put Fire Persephone as lead. And then like two more Persephones, and then have them all on Siphon. I think, I think that would be the fastest uh, possible goal in Speed Ten Run. But yeah, that was that was pretty fun. I I think uh, I think theoretically it could work, but I I, I will need to like op I don't think I'll ever pull a Light Nightmare. Um, but if I do, I'll I'll try to get her on Siphon, and then you know I fed all my other nightmares away, so I can't evil three her either. But uh. I think theoretically I could get a really really fast like I think the fastest fastest goal on speed 10 team in theory would be three three fire Persephones with one of them as variant and as the leader and then um, a light nightmare and I think having them all on siphon so she actually gets her bar full like all the time can help help me uh, basically generate a lot of blue blue orbs because they're everyone's going to be hitting a lot and then um, also with siphon um, even if she doesn't have like a lot of attack i think maybe just some defense siphon gems with like a lot of attack substats i think i have a few i'm not too sure there are some i have some defense siphon that have like attack um, this one only has a bit all right this one's really sad this one is 13 percent attack like i think if i had if i if you can gem her up with uh you know, like triple defense, because I think triple defense is needed. If I gem with two defense, one attack, I don't think she can survive the first wave. As you saw during the first run, um, she got pretty low to about 30% HP. But I think you know, since she is she is a nat five, she's relatively tanky. Um, if you just look at look at her stats, she has 3,500 base defense. Um, unfortunately, only 2,600 base base HP so that's it's not too high but she does have 2500 attacks so I was thinking if you could um, go something like double defense attack with some HP substats maybe she can survive on the first wave and then the attacks that although it doesn't contribute to the aggression um, the attacks that once she does get her bar full will help with her her second skill do more damage and then the siphon will 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 siphon more um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll siphon more more SP back, and then she'll be more likely to always have her bar full. And then you just have, like, multiple Persephones, because Persephones have, like, 3k base attack. So if you just gem them with full damage, they, they can actually do a lot of damage. And the siphon gems, although it won't get their bars full on turn 1, um, it's very likely that, you know, maybe multiple units, maybe one or two units will have their bars full on turn 2. And since the, uh, since the... The dark units on the on the golden speed 10 stage since they're dark they have no base resistance so your saps will always land on them basically 
ensuring that you land two sass so that's 10 percent of their hp taken care of and if if it's two persephones that have their their bars full it's basically like a it knocks off 20 percent of their hp plus um you know whatever damage you deal so uh it should it should always kill every single wave or if you have the light nightmare with her bar full she's gonna land um three saps which will deal 15 percent of their max hp so 15 percent and then you have another persephone that has like at least one unit with her bar full then that'll be um that'll be 25 percent of their hp knocked off and then plus whatever little damage that she deals plus the damage from the nuke from fire persephone i think should be able to kill the waves um you know after turn one and then after turn one um uh, after everybody nukes i think with their blue souls coming back i think everybody should get a full bar for the for the remainder of the waves and then they just keep nuking until they they get to the boss wave and then during the boss wave it's just going to be uh non-stop sapping until the boss dies i think so i think theoretically i think that might be the fastest call and speed 10 team but anyways that i think that was uh that was pretty pretty nice uh experiment although um I would have really liked to be able to test it if she had Siphon, and also my u other Sapper units if they had Siphon as well. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to request a Monster Spotlight, um, PM me on Discord, because I, I've i been getting a lot of like random comments, or not random comments, but just comments um, asking me to do Monster Spotlights on YouTube, and they kind of get lost because YouTube's comment system is, is a little bit messy, so sometimes the comments get lost, and... Um, you know, after after I reply to you, um, you know, you reply to your IGN or something like that, and then the, the comment gets lost. Um, or sometimes it's my fault, like I forget to put your, your name on the waiting list um, for Monster Spotlights. So that's that's kind of bad as well. Like I, it, I I do apologize for that, but I'll I'll put up a Discord channel or or a, um. A notice in my announcements on my discord channel for or, or server i mean um for monster spotlight queue and if you're not on the queue and you ask me a while before then you can uh you can talk to me about it and i can just uh i can i can fit you in somewhere you know so yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed these um i think a lot of people do really like them um, especially when i spotlight monsters that a lot of people don't have you know people can kind of see the potential of those monsters but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out